Hello everybody, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler teaching electromagnetics at Idaho State University. In this video, let's take another look at an example, and in this example we're going to be finding the vector scalar potential. We're given an electric field, and this electric field is in spherical coordinates, and we also know a reference voltage, which is zero volts, when r is equal to zero. So at the center when r radius is equal to zero, we know that the voltage is equal to zero. So we're going to try to find an expression for the voltage at any point r with respect to voltage one. So if p2 is any point r, then we can find an expression, a general expression for the voltage r with respect to v1. Now, this is often given using this equation, right, where we can say that the potential at point two with respect to the potential at point one is equal to this path integral from point P1 to point P2 of the field dot with some differential length, which follows a differential path uh, along the, um, the, the system to, from point one to point two. Okay. So in this case, we know that our voltage one, right, we said this is voltage one is equal to zero volts, and that's at point P1 is equal to zero. And we also were told that point t P2, right, this is going to be equal to some R. All right, we have our field and we need to determine some dl. So the dl will be most easily seen as some path from the center, oops, point P1, to some point here, or any point, let's can just put it along this axis, r, but r is pointed anywhere. You can see to this point P2, this is some point P2 at R. So looking at that, we can see that this is in the direction, the R hat direction, and this could be in any direction. So looking at a, a table that contains various differential path lengths, we can see that this would be R hat dr. So now we know the field, we know the differential path length, and we just need to set up this integral. So we're going to integrate from 0 to r, and I'm going to use uh, some a slight change in variables to make uh, all of our math friends happy. And I'm going to say, I'm going to call this r squared, b squared. dot with r hat <clears throat> dr and we're going to be integrating from r equals zero to r prime equals r and this is going to give us the voltage at point two which is any r with respect to oops, one, which is equal to zero. So this is just going to give us the voltage at any point R. Okay, so now when we perform this integral, we can see, and there should be a minus sign here. So after doing this integral, we can see that the two on the top and the two on the bottom are going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with a r hat r squared plus b like this. Okay, now <clears throat> looking, uh, substituting this in, right, we can see that this is going to be 1 over r squared plus b squared 
minus 1 over, this is going to be 0, 1 over b squared, is equal to the voltage at any point r. So this is another example of finding the voltage or the potential at one point with respect to another point when we're given the reference voltage at a specific point. So hope this helps and I will see you in the next video.